In a world of so much negativity, where things are constantly pulling you down, the Word of God can build you up. Get inspired with Isabella P. I'm Isabella and welcome to yet another week of Get Inspired. I am so excited about this week because this week we're going to start a new series and we're going to be talking about honor. Last week I was in Augusta, Georgia and I taught a message on are you a person of honor? So as I was praying, God led me and, and, and to, to take the message and to break it down even further and teach on Get Inspired about honor honor and that's what we're gonna do right now I thought about three types of honor honoring God uh, honoring yourself and then honoring each other and the men and women God has placed over your life so we're gonna set up the series honoring God our God is a God of honor his kingdom is a kingdom that functions on honor on, on the culture of honor God expects you to honor him and to honor one another, which sometimes becomes so difficult for us to do, and to honor yourself and the assignment he gave you before the world began. If you don't know how to be honorable, it will be hard for you to function in the kingdom of God. You will have to learn to be honorable in order to receive from God. You will have to learn to be honorable in order to receive from the men and women of God. So today my question for you is, are you a person of honor? In this series, I'm going to talk to you about, like I said earlier, three types of honor. Upward honor, referring to honoring God. Outward honor, referring to honoring the men and women of God and honoring each other. And inward honor, where you learn how to honor yourself. We will start today with just one because I don't want to give you too much information at one time. This is why I'm spending some time breaking it down. If you don't have honor for God, it will be hard for you to honor the man and woman of God or to honor each other or to even honor yourself. So that's why we started with honoring God because you have to learn how to honor God. So let's focus on God for a moment. God planned for us before the world began. We all know that before he even formed us in the womb, he planned for us. He then sent us into the world in the right time, right place, at the right time, so we can fulfill our purpose. We sometimes joke around and tell each other, I do that with my sister all the time, you are a mistake, you, the, you are the result of a one night stand, you are an accident, you were not planned for, and the list goes on. But okay, come on, all jokes aside, the truth is you were born when you were born into the family you were born, yes, and you were not born in Donald Trump family, so forget about it. And where you were born for a reason. That reason is God's purpose. Even if someone wishes they had a different family, and I hear people say that all the time, I wish I had a whole different family, but each family comes with their problem. Don't fool yourself. You have the family God gave you. Even if someone wishes they were born in a different time, your time, your season is now. You are on this planet for God's divine purpose. Make use of it. God wants us to remember that and to live our lives in honor of him and the purpose he gave us before the world began. Today we are going to discuss two things when dealing with upward honor, honoring God. God wants us to honor him with our worship. That's the first thing. We cannot honor God if we don't worship him. And the second is, God wants us to honor him with our wealth. Let's start with honoring God with our worship. John 4 and 24. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. 
We all are busy. I know, I hear it all around us all the time. Man, I wish there was 28 hours in a day. No, you don't. Because if there was 28 hours in the day, you would find something else to fill up the other four hours. And you would make 28 hours just as busy as you make 24 hours busy. All of us have crazy schedules. But God wants us to honor him. He wants us to make time for him. He wants us to find time. He gave, us, he gave us 24 hours. We need to find time in those 24 hours for him. He made time. Worship is one of the best ways to honor God. When you worship him, you forget about yourself and you get to concentrate on just him. You think about him. You lost yourself in him. You and him become one. You get intimate with him. And you think about nothing else. It doesn't matter what's going on around you. The house could be falling apart. You do not even hear it. It's just you and God. When you worship him, it's like no one else is in the world but you and God. When you worship him, I mean true worship, you are giving God all your focus, all of him, all of you gets into him. God wants you to honor him with your worship. Make time for worship. Make worship a priority. Don't make it the last thing of the day, but just try to make it the first thing that you do. Then God wants you to honor him with your wealth. Proverbs 3 and 9 in the easy to read version says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first part of your harvest. I know you might be saying, oh my goodness, here it comes. She's talking about money. These church folks, all they could do is talk about money. But you see, here you go again. If you're thinking that and if you're saying that, it's because you lack honor and you need to listen to this message. We must honor God with everything that we have. Time, talent, and treasure, meaning your money. People get funny about their money. God does not have a problem with you having money. God has a problem with money having you. And if you were one of those person that was thinking about what I said earlier, that's because money have you. When money have you, that's when we get the attitude that I just said. Mm, them church folks are always talking about money. That's when money have you. But remember, God gave you the money. Just remember that. When you honor the Lord with the money, with your money he placed in your hands, it proves to him that money is not an issue for you. Once you prove to God, then you can have money without money having you, then God will give you more than you can ever imagine. The reason why some of us, well not us, but some of you all do not have money right now is because you have proved to God that you can't handle it. That's the reason why some of you all don't have it right now. God owns the mint where the money is made. He owns the bank who is giving you a hard time about your credit and the money. The issue is not money. The issue is honor. What are you going to do with the money? Can you answer that? What are you going to do with the money if you were given the money right now? How are you going to spend the money when you get it? If I were to ask you to give me an exact amount of your debt, would you, able, would you be able to give it to me? Some of you are looking at me right now and you have no idea how much money you owe. I could have been trying to bless you by paying off your debt, but you missed out like those five virgins because you were not prepared. You were not ready to answer that question. If I were to give you $10 million right now, how would you spend it? Do you have a vision from the Lord for divine resources? If the Lord knows you will honor him and his kingdom, he will bless you to finance kingdom projects. He will use you, he will send money your way. He will use you as a conduit 
to finance the kingdom. But if he knows he sends somebody to bless you with money and you're going to hold on to the money and not bless the kingdom, he's not going to send people to bless you. $5,000 is no more difficult to God than $5 million. He owns all of it. God will bless you with resources if he knows you have enough honor to fund kingdom projects. Can you honor God with your time, talent, and treasure? Are you a person of honor? Okay, we will stop here for this week. But get inspired to honor God with your worship. Get inspired to honor God with your time, talent, and treasure. Get inspired to be a person of honor. Ask yourself, am I a person of honor? If not, it's time to make some changes. We'll continue with the series next week. And may God bless you. Mm -hmm.